Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Creeper World 4. That is right, we are back heading into the colony section yet again for an L-Pack. That's right, it's the week of packs and L-Packs because I am still uh, recovering from the great apocalypse that has hit. Um, and this is a Buttercat L-Pack map. And uh, thanks to Fire Swamp for the new scripts. So fantastic. Let's get in there. Um, this is not the first time I'm recording this uh, start because I, I kind of laughed a little bit uh, when I initially did. Um, the savage humans have taken our breeder line and turned it against us. They must pay with their screams as we destroy them all. It seems they have positioned some of their connectors in bad positions, meaning a simple egg could ruin them. It must be Sir Angor who made this terrible defense. The fool, unlike Sir Kavax, who has deflected almost all of our attacks. Note, I'm not saying you know who is better than you know who. I expect some people will think this a lamau that's right uh i greatly appreciate that i have to say love tom just gonna say it there we go fully support uh i i'm not gonna say i am on either side of the equation um super big fan um tom if you ever if you ever see this you know hey hey let's let's do a let's do a co-op map together you know that'd be kind of cool um, just saying, just saying, they do exist. Um, but let's see what we have. We have stashes, we have emitters. Now, I do know for a fact that this emitter is on a five second timer and it starts at one. I believe this emitter primarily exists to start the, you know, mesh train. Uh, and the mesh train leads to a skimmer factory. I love it. Skimmers get to use their little friends. That is amazing. And you know what? Blobs and spores combined. Oh, I love it too. It's going to be so good. Got to be so good. So, what are we going to do? Well, let's just get started, right? I mean, we we have some places that are the clear starting points. Uh, and let us just grab, say, that and that. And what else? Uh, is there anything else that we could grab semi-early, right? Uh, doesn't quite look too much like it at the moment, right? Uh, everything is kind of surrounded by a whole lot of stuff, and then there's that up there, which we would need a lot of boosts in order to even have a potential for, right? I mean, if it's every five seconds, that's got to be a lot of creep coming out. So, let us see. Uh, let's just start with our sides. There we go. Popping our eggs, trying to take out our, our nullifier is down. We want to get these cannons down as well, ideally. Fingers crossed. And, oh, geez, we have to boost this bad boy up, don't we? Uh, looks like, uh, the cannons survive, but I think they're gonna run out of ammo. Oh, nope, that one's not. That one will, and has. Uh, so let's see. Can we get this done? Fingers crossed. It looks like as long as this cannon goes down, I think we'll be fine, and there we have it done. I think we should easily get this around there. We'll get a couple more boosts out there. This side is just gonna... It's just free real estate, really. I mean, look at that. It's just, it's just going to be stashing along and doing its thing. So, love it. And, yeah, we now have the world as our oyster. Our creepy, creepy oyster. We have our front door. We have our, our side door, you know? I mean, side door friends are pretty good, too. Not as, not as, not my favorite, you know? Uh, if you've watched uh, some of my videos, you might know what my favorite is in this regard. Uh, but you know what? Maybe if we get the spore launcher up there, maybe we will get lucky and get some of the good friends on. Oh, look at that AC coming out. Okay, so there's plenty of AC coming out. I don't think that emitter will be doing too much with that pumping. Okay. Super good to know. Very glad I did not uh, try to say, well, we'll just start saving up boosts and going for it. Um, glad to see it. Glad to see it. I think, honestly, I was planning on using some eggs here, uh, you know, to sort of cut this off. And I think if we just cut off this and this, we would essentially cut off this. But realistically, I think that I think the crimson is going to be pretty good. Oh, we have <gasps> we have a friend. Well, not a friend. I guess that's an enemy, but they look so cool. And you never see them in packs, so I'm a fan. I'm a fan. Um, oh, one thing we can do, though. Let's just, uh, let's just do that. There we go. Just get rid of that Amrift. Nobody needs it. Nobody likes it. Right? Right. Right? Okay. I approve. Catvax approved. Um, Amrift go down. Uh, this, oh, I think that's our first pop. There we go. Look at the creep just... Again, free real estate side door. You know, we had the we had the key, we unlocked it, and and we're taking it. You know, we're we just have access to this M rift. That M rift will go down to a single egg or rock or whatever we want. 
We don't need to right now because there's multiple connections to get here, so it's not a super concern of ours. So let's just get this really pumping out the creep. I think we're going to need a lot of creep to come out of this because realistically it's this and the stash. Actually, let's see when the stash pops. We're at like 5k. I want to see what it goes up to when the stash pops. It is a little bit of a slow, slow gain. Um, hopefully that will speed up once our creep level does start to uh, take over this side of the map. Ooh, we could increase it to 2,000, but at, at the speed that it fills up, it wouldn't be wouldn't be that good. Um, we can see it fill up significantly faster after the 30 second pulse timer. Um, and there we go. We did jump up to nine. We're at 9k now, which is fantastic. Uh, or almost 10. And again, this is this is just pumping out pretty good creep every second. So feeling pretty good about that. Uh, we're just gonna we're just gonna ride this crimson wave for a little bit i think uh, i want to use my eggs i want to destroy this whole area i want to cut off this so if we destroy this whole area and we get rid of this m rift all i think we need is that pylon so also super super cool i did notice this uh this setup right here it may look just like it's an m rift with a cool little uh, star inside but oh sorry I didn't really click ada if we actually unhide the paths, you actually can't tell that there's an M-Rift in there, and you might think that these pylons are doing everything, and that's just a cool design. But there's a hidden M-Rift. I mean, how, I, I, that's a very cool idea. I, I love it. So, super cool idea. <clears throat> that being said, we have to destroy it, of course. So, let's, uh, it gives us space to toss down a couple of eggs in here, which is fantastic. We definitely want to do that. We get, also want a couple of eggs on the side. I think I think that's a very pretty egg setup as well. Over here, uh, we'll toss down one egg there. We'll toss down two eggs there, I guess. Uh, thank you, uh, Explosions, for making my egg decision for me. And we'll <coughs> we'll get some more creep on the flood. Uh, this will flow, of course, and that'll pop that, which will pop our main area. And this pops this area. They're off, both going off at basically the same time. And look at that just boom instantaneous destruction and power outage oh i love it i love it uh but i don't want this to rebuild that quickly so let's make sure these pylons don't come back right away and with that there we go that's what we needed this pylon might come back but look at that oh the blobs are free the blobs are free and so are the spores oh fantastic fantastic i think we have claimed the initial bit of the map now let's let's just get our blobs up quite a little bit look at this the eggs are down i'm actually surprised that egg okay i was gonna say i'm surprised that egg didn't just pop naturally uh and then it did so you know that's 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 how it goes Ooh. let's get that pylon down if we can make sure they don't just start to fight back i mean we, we just had our big victory. We want to hold this. Uh, hopefully, now that this should flow over the land, these should run out of energy. If this starts empowering this over here, it'll be really good. And look at that. Oh, there was a blob. He was carrying an egg. Oh, I, I love it so much. Um, how can you go wrong? We're going to start off with maybe 10 blobs. Maybe go with 10 blobs. The launchers, we will want to get more of. Um, but right now... I think the blobs are going to be more important, and just more creep in general. Of course, we, we just need more to flow, right? The creep must flow. And do we want to get going, right? Let's let's see. We'll just do this, because I think if we can take out this area, boom, look at that. We took out the two that I was going for. That's what we want to see. And this should, uh, this should allow some, some pretty solid flow onto this left side, right? Uh, plenty of uh, snipers, unfortunately. But again, just because they're carrying eggs, look at that deposit that they're doing now. You know, it might not seem like, you know, the be-all, end-all of the world kind of thing. It's just so nice that we're just moving creep up. So I am a super fan. Uh, let's get this just a little bit higher. Uh, you know, it is pushing the crimson, so I really want this to be really pumping. Uh, I did let some of these come back, but we, we took this this side. I mean, look at that. The, the, the crimson is flowing. And the eggs are going. Again, eggs are getting shot. 
we're probably gonna need some more. Maybe maybe we'll pump that up to like 20 or so, so we can start the actual uh, assault, right? So let's get that to 20. That sounds pretty good. This stash still just just generating creep for us. I'm very happy for it. Uh, it. Might be worth just a couple points just to get some creep generation on the side at a much higher level, uh, especially now that our flow is uh, hitting the right side. Um, but yeah, look at this. Um, now what we need to see is a lucky spore to hit that. I want that totem gone. Although, it does have a connector there. And, yeah. Plenty of snipers, even for 12 blobs. Look at that. So, let's just keep the blob train going. Get it to 20. Maybe we go to 30? I don't know. Um, but, oh, and we're getting some we're getting some generation there. Fantastic. Oh, I love it. Free generation right in the middle of the map. So, we do have a lot of points of connection here, and that's uh, one concern. This is the only connection point on this side. However, this has a couple. And there is an MRF here, of course. Uh, MRF's going to be a major, major problem. Um, main reason I'm focusing on the left side is because that's where the emitter is, so that's where our densest amount of creep is to sort of support if we take land. But now we have this as well, which will only help things further. Uh, I will toss one there because I want to get that pylon down, which it should, and it'll get that down just to completely establish this is ours. So, feeling pretty okay with this. I do hope we have enough to push into this AC. We might need some more, but you know what? I think we need some more blobs first, right? Let's get that to 20. Oh, going up two at a time. Feels so good. Hmm. Like, I want to shut off this entire area. I mean, I know we can shut off this MRF very simply, right? This MRF 2, maybe even 3 eggs should shut off the MRF. Uh, but I kind of want to disrupt just this entire area. I think a monster push just to get this. There we go. There we have it. I think I want to hopefully hold this as well, right? Again, taking out the M Rift going to be substantial for us. Uh, over here. Oh wow! Somehow. Oh, I. Oh, blobs are doing it. The blobs are coming. Oh, it's beautiful. It is beautiful. The blobs cometh. There are too many to all be shot down, which is fantastic. Oh. And look at that. that! That was an egged blob. Look at the egg creep that was dropped. Ugh. You can't go wrong with it. It's just... It's a good connection. It's a good time. Uh, I... Ooh. Is this, uh... Is this happening? Is this the uh, connection that I need to get? Uh, did I just mess up? I think I might have just messed up, and that's okay. Ah, uh, they're gonna get this back. Pop all eggs, keep them popped. Because if we do that and shut off this, oh, we did, we did. Oh, happy days! Now all the ammo is gone. Happy days, happy days are here again. Now the problem is their AC is building up very substantially. Um, not a fan of this amount of AC. That is for sure. And the energy comes back apparently. So, yeah, there is a lot here. So we need to figure out how to... I guess we just need more creep. Uh, there is no limit to the amount of creep on the map, which is fantastic. Uh, the problem is there's just a lot of AC on this map, right? I mean, not as much as we have, but I mean, we don't have necessarily a lot of forward pushing creep at the moment. But now, once we take this wall, Right? If we can hold this wall for sure, I think we're going to be in a much better state because they're not going to be just monstrously destroying uh, us in general, right? So keep them down, and then the blobs should come again. Uh, okay, blobs just fired. Let's see, if we do an upgrade. Okay, it's not really reducing the time. Get that to 20 officially. Fantastic. Look at the blobs. And I think most of their snipers have been handled. So the blobs are going to be doing a lot, lot better. So I definitely want a lot of blobs, me thinks. 
Yes, we flow over the walls. Okay. So that stash will be nice. It'll be a nice little bonus when we get to it. I don't think I want to egg to it right now just to sort of push the creep forward. I do think this is going to be our area. Get some skimmers on the on the go. Uh, however, that will be a little bit rough. Uh, ooh. Actually, let's, let's just pop an egg in there. Make sure that is ours for the next uh, 30 second cycle. Oh. Uh, Oh, so I didn't even notice. That was just an M-Rift powering four cannons. M-Rift gone, four cannons gone. I messed up and let them have that breeding cycle. That was my fault. I, I was so excited by the uh, by that little M-Rift thing. Uh, but let us... We need 15 seconds, and we're going to want that. This should pop nicely. Oh, no. That fell too far. You fell too far. Okay, we got some. Over here, we got some of it as well at the cycle, which is what I wanted to see. And the blobs, again, coming. And I think the blobs are going to be the thing that really frees this skimmer factory. So, yeah, really feeling the blobs. Again, I think killing this wall has really allowed our creep just to grow. Again, I don't... I should have been paying more attention to if this is doubling or tripling. I believe Butter said he was going to make it so it was better. Uh, yeah, I'm going to put one in it just to see. Uh, I do want that one uh, to be mine. But again, look, they're, they're, they have so much AC. So we're just going to get even more pumping out on our side. Uh, and again, we now have a couple more breeder zones. And boom, the blobs are getting there. So what is powering this, actually? Uh, let's just let's just give it a little pause. Let's unhide the pads. So this is being powered by three towers, right? This one, this one, and this one. Just these three towers. If we can destroy these three, this area becomes completely unpowered because there is no emrift there. The emrift is over there, which is fantastic. So I think we go for it, right? Uh, do we go for it? right now though because i only have eh, i have a couple extra eggs that's fine let us see i know there's a lot of mortars there and let us make sure i think we need to uh toss it in there is there an emerald in there <laughs> there is an emerald in there i'm a fool Holy moly, there was an emerald there the entire time. That should be okay. We should be actually be able to uh, rock this M Rift's world. Uh, we might have to do it like that. It's going to take a lot of rocks, but there we go. There is the M Rift. Uh, and of course, uh, it took enough time that they were able to rebuild because, you know, I was messing with the M Rift. And there's all of our eggs. And that's fine. Oh no, they're coming from that one side. No! Oh, but then the blobs came. See, that's the problem. Just not enough eggs. But again, we are pressing in. I think we are winning the AC uh, battle here. Again, we are almost up to the stash, which is fantastic. Uh, I'm going to buff the stash up, because if this stash... Uh, is you know a tripler or something like that that would be amazing uh, but look at this they're just able to push us back actually pushing us back really really well uh between the ac and everything else it's it's going very very strong definitely could use uh just the right amount again we are every time this comes though the blobs are destroying more of these uh solar panels and once the solar panels are gone i think we'll be in a much better state uh, I just want to get enough eggs to destroy... Actually, are the pathways only... Nah, they're, they're both in the center up again. Okay, so that's what it was. They actually we, they actually lost one inside. I think next blob wave, which is coming now, uh, we are going to be using our eggs for the... Uh... Oh, they got the Emrift back. No! Okay, so I wasted the Emrift. Uh, that's fine. Or I wasted the rocks on the M Rift, which is fine. So, 
How do we do this? We would have to destroy this one. And that one. Right? I mean, this is the primary one. So we do this, this, and this. Okay, and then drop the second there, and then we take care of the M-Rift. Same exact way. A shame, but we can do it. Uh, let's see, what's the best way to place it? Uh, that should be good. Three for the M-Rift, which is fantastic. Toss that down. And that should go down. And it should be unpowered, which is fantastic. We have two eggs. Which we're going to pop like that. And a third. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, okay, I did put it down. Whew. Oh, no, they still got it back up. I really thought that we had it there. Perfectly fine, perfectly fine. You know? I think we also might need... Yeah, they have plenty going on there. Alright. Wow, that sniper did some serious work. There we go. Just using this to claim some land, because if we can claim this... Wow, that mortar is, like, right on point there, though. Fantastic. This is definitely, uh, more challenging than I was expecting. You know what? I think, I think the blobs are just... They're doing great work. They are able to rebuild, though. I think, again, the problem is our creep generation is having a very hard time with this AC generation. So definitely on the rougher side i don't want to just pump up that i would love that actually oh really okay so this is another one that is very weak emitter uh i mean we have the rocks for it Oh, that, see, just that egg deposit. So, so nice. Actually, that egg deposit what basically killed everything. Amazing. And that should allow us to get this, which allows us to go in. Oh, it was a second too late. That was entirely my fault. Too late. That was another blob egg. That's going to destroy what I wanted to destroy. Or almost destroy it. Uh, not enough. Oh, the skimmer's actually turned on. Wild. The skimmer's turned on. Now, unfortunately, the skimmers are in the... Uh, the zone over there. So much explosions. So little proc. Oh, that's good. That stash should actually be a huge help on the front lines. One egg to destroy the M rift. I don't think I put eggs over there. Maybe I did? Hmm. Curiouser and curiouser. One, two, three. I guess we just need more creep. I mean... Because that's the thing. It's just the creep can't get... Like, we're destroying towers. We're just not pushing the creep in after we destroy the towers. Even if we destroy it with eggs. Uh, if we destroy it with other things. Oh, but this is actually where we need to be, right? This is this is the surround. 
And that is not connected to that. So I... Th oh, we did it. It's ours. The Skimmer Factory is ours. Unfortunately, the Skimmers will be dead forever. Uh, let's get some more spores, right? Because we get more spores going on. Oh, there's just a load of eggs back here. There we go. Ten spores. Hopefully one will decide to hit these so we can free our Skimmer friends as well. And there we go. I think we have solved the riddle that is the Skimmer Factory uh, abandonment. This, I mean, that's going to stay for a while unless all of our blobs sort of target it. But look at that. Ten spores. Again, all targeted. Actually going to help real, real quite a lot over here. Destroy both of these uh, shields, which is fantastic. And we're going to try and capitalize on that. So, boom. I didn't hit the other shield. That's the shield I was going for. Perfectly fine. Uh, I think that shield is actually uh, not powered anymore. Thanks to all the blobs as well. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. Oh my gosh, that stash has been taking so long. I just want to see it pop. That's all at this point. Oh, it is. It did get its connection, but the blobs cometh yet again, destroying the shield. You, oh, so many blobs. I mean, the blobs are gonna do it at this point. Uh, again, just the the blob inevitability. And actually, the uh, sport. Oh my gosh. The hero. The hero spore. Look at their. Oh my gosh! It affects their generations. Oh. I, am I a fool? I am not a fool. We can capitalize. Look at that. Holy moly. This could have been like the super answer to begin with. Look at that. You go for hero spores and then you just blob this and look at that. Their generation's down to 20. Holy crap. If we had done blobs or spores instead of blobs, we might have hit that so much sooner. Oh, strategeries. Oh, I kind of want to redo this, but I don't want to make anyone sit through all that. So. <laughs> um, oh, and the skimmers are being semi-freed. I think we might need to do both, but that is fine. The sacks are free. Uh, I mean, I think that's going to be most everything. Uh, over here, I think we're going to free this and hopefully just... Uh, get the mesh going on, right? Yeah, one every five seconds. But, if it just makes mesh for us, which it looks like it's doing. Oh my. Look at that. Yeah, there, there's... That's a collapse. That's a that's a that's an end game right there. If we upgrade this, does it go down in time? No, one every five seconds. It stays that. Um, what was the emitter that was over here? That's 0.5 seconds. So this is actually quite a solid emitter that we could have freed with rocks earlier. Um, chose not to, you know, but we could have. Oh mesh. We're not going to get the mesh to the skimmer factory, though. Oh, it's a heartbreak. I, I think the blobs are just going to win it, because look at their generation. It is next to nothing at this point. But the mesh grows. Oh, there's an emitter over there. 100 every 10 seconds. Okay. I didn't even see that emitter. Oof. Look at me. I really think if you take out that power system super early, I mean they do still they would still have the solar panels, which would give them some generation. But I mean cutting down like a hundred plus generation, be pretty substantial overall. Oh, there we go. 
the symbol of my people. <gasps> and the skimmer factory is in. Do we have friends? We have friends. Oh, look at them. Look at them go. Just throwing out more creep. That's what you want to see. Oh, it's beautiful. We, you know, I mean, we have eggs. We have rocks. We don't even have to touch it, though. You know what? All of the upgrades. Just three more. Get in this. We want we want to pop these uh, totems, of course, right? So, wow, is that actually targeting a deactive totem? Interesting. I didn't realize I could target deactive totems, too. But look at this. We do have them coming for the main base. If we deactivate it, uh, there is no more uh, factory, which means they cannot reactivate and their base is indeed vulnerable. Wait, how did... Was that just a shield that we hit? Instead of a... Oh, oh my. Okay, that's a, that's a little dangerous for them. I thought... Oh! The blobs did it. The blobs took him over. Oh! See, that's what's supposed to happen. Boom, and then it's gone forever. That's what we want to see. I still want to see all the AC gone. Don't want anything left, although that's got to go too, right? Everything has to go. More upgrades for the spores. Come on. There we go. Now they're going down. I don't know why they're taking so many hits. That's impressive. And it's done. AC being eliminated. One spore heading here. This one? Completely? I mean, it's completely encased, thanks to our oh, little symbol of our people. Um, so I'll allow it. I'll, I'll, I'll say that's it. I'll say that's it. We'll just toss down those to make that nice and creepy. Oh, the pop all is amazing. Amazing! I love it. I love it. This has been the Buttercat Butter Pack map. I want to say thank you so much. Greatly appreciate it. Love how everything worked together. I I mean, honestly, those blobs carrying eggs, amazing. Oh, so much fun. I wish I could have gotten to the Skimmer Factory earlier uh, because, again, our friends are dancing around. Oh, look at them go. We'll even transfer it so we can see them. Look at them. Is it just a one friend? Or do we have many friends? We should have many friends. There's a couple. There's a couple of friends. Oh, yeah, there they are. They were just in the back plenty of friends there we go thank you so much for joining me hope you like please leave a like comment and subscribe oh look at that 148.6 i guess that is the way to go so uh plenty of cheese on this map <laughs> there we go uh playing it for real i had a lot of fun oh no that's the that's the uh totem time that is the totem time uh map time itself okay feeling pretty good with that time uh, again, I do think there is some cheese available, uh, especially uh, just to, to point out. Like, if we were to go, we could have easily probably gotten this emitter up and running very early. Um, another thing is, if you're doing it for reals, getting the spore launcher, hitting this, I think we could have cut down our time substantially. So I love it. Big ol' fan. Uh, thinks it is a good time. Oh, I can't see the uh, other times anymore. That's fine. Uh, have a wonderful day. Catch you next time!